channel guys we're doing another makeup tutorial today so let's go ahead and jump right into it i started off with my eyes already primed using my makeup revolution concealer and now i'm going in with the juvia's place masquerade palette i'm taking the hot pink shade from this palette and placing this onto my crease as my transition shade for today if you feel like the edges of your eyeshadow are a little too harsh i like to go in with the eyeshadow that's closer to my skin tone just to kind of diffuse it a little bit and blur it out so i'm I'm using a large fluffy brush just to kind of go over the edges to smooth out that hot pink eyeshadow then reapplying some just to make sure I don't lose that intensity. Next, I'm going in with like this dark pink eyeshadow from the same palette. I think this one is called Zobo. And I'm placing this directly onto the crease. And then I'm gonna go back in with that previous brush just to make sure the edges are well blended. For a little bit of extra depth, I'm going into this purple eyeshadow from the Lick and Lash 35E Duchess palette. I'm using a much smaller brush for this step because I wanted to keep this eyeshadow really, really close to the crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that onto the crease there and then again, diffuse it using my previous brush with a little bit of extra pink eyeshadow. So now I wanna go ahead and start laying that foundation for my lid color. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer again, but this one is in the shade C1. This is the shade that I always use when I do like a cut crease or I'm prepping my lid space for any type of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto the lid there and then just make sure that the edges are kind of diffused and not too harsh. After that, I'm gonna go back in with the 35E palette from Lick and Lash and then apply this baby blue color onto the lid. I'm making sure to use packing motions for this eyeshadow as well, just to really make sure I get that pigmentation. Then going back in with that same brush that I used to apply that purple eyeshadow, just to make sure that the edges are not too harsh. To really brighten up this blue, I wanted to add a little bit of white eyeshadow just on the center. So you have like a nice like gradient effect between like the center and like the edge of the blue. Hopefully that makes sense. But um, yeah, I just went ahead and applied some white eyeshadow, just kind of packed uh, patted it on really well just to make sure it blended in nicely with that blue eyeshadow. I felt like this look would look really cute with a wing so I went in with my Jouer Kitten Eyeliner. This is their one of their newest products. I've been really liking this eyeliner a lot because it's really really black and I'm not really used to felt tip eyeliners but this one works really well for me because the tip is really sharp so you get a really nice clean line. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes after that. This, these are from Bold Face Makeup and the style Bold is Beautiful and I stacked two pairs today. So I'm gonna pause with the eyes for a second and move on to skin now. I've been loving the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This primer is just amazing. I got it in last month's BoxyCharm and it just makes your skin look like you have like a filter over it. So I've been loving it underneath all of my foundations. It has more of like a slip to it. So I don't know if you could use it underneath every single foundation, but so far it's been working really well, well for me. I wanted to try my hand at color correcting today, which was, I feel like was a fail in my opinion. I don't know. I really liked the way it started out looking, but I think somewhere like down the line, like it just kind of messed up my like skin makeup, if that makes sense. So I went ahead and tried color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is the orange shade. And I'll let you guys know where I feel like it kind of like started looking really strange. So I did some color correcting and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. I did use more of a full coverage foundation today. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Walnut. And I'm applying it using a like flat brush from Sigma, then just going over it using a Maya sponge from Morphe. Thank you. 
You guys already know the ColourPop concealers are one of my favorites. This is the shade number 36. It's supposed to be right in between what used to be golden 40 and what used to be tan 50s. I'm just gonna use that to highlight my under eyes, forehead, blend it out with my brush, then just go over it with my sponge once again. So this is where I feel like that orange color corrector started acting up. Like, I don't know what happens, but I don't I think it's the powder though, but I feel like the orange started kind of peeking through my concealer and the powder. I don't know if you guys can see it. I feel like I kind of noticed it at this point when I was like applying my powder. I might have to just kind of like practice with it a little bit more. Usually it's not really like a step that I like typically take, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring and bronzing my skin uh, using the Anastasia Powder Contouring Kit in Tan to Deep. I tried using a larger brush for my contour today and I ended up not liking it. So if it looks a little different here versus like the end result, it's because I touched up my contour and like bronzer off camera. So yeah, because <laughs> I didn't really realize how much like I wasn't really feeling it until I kind of like looked at it off camera and everything. So yeah, just in case you guys feel like it like it might have like something might have changed in between. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use all the same eyeshadows that I applied on the crease onto the lower lash line to smoke it out. So I'm going in with that darker pink, then the lighter of the pinks, and that purple eyeshadow as well to smoke it out. I also added a little bit of white eyeliner onto the waterline. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lash primer before I do my brows. So the lash primer has a chance to kind of dry down before I apply my mascara. And of course, I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I'm brushing through my brows first using the spoolie, and then I'm just gonna create um, little hair-like strokes onto my brows for a more like feathered, natural look. At this point, I feel like my skin was like dying of thirst from all the powders that I use. So I'm just gonna use a ton of the Mario Badescu Rose Waters Facial Spray and just drench my skin in the spray just to get rid of like that powdery look and to really make sure all the powders are fusing together. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlight now. This is the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit and I've been absolutely loving this glow kit. It's so pretty. When I heard that the formula for this glow kit was gonna be similar to the Nicole Guerrero one, I I definitely had to get my hands on it because that's like definitely one of my favorite glow kits that came out. So I started off using the shade Regal on the highest point of my cheeks and I also added a unicorn. I went ahead and applied that onto my cheeks as well because I was super curious to see what it looks like. I just went ahead and applied those onto my cheekbones, nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And I also added some on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lip products now. To kind of like outline my lips, I use the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trust Issues. Then I added Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dulce K to fill in my lips. And then for my lip gloss, I use the J-Cat Beauty Lip Tonics Shimmer Topper in Twinkle Toes. And that pretty much concludes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, if you were wondering about my sunglasses, I got them from Sunglass Spot online. These are the Cool Vibes Oval Sunnies, I believe. I'll make sure to put the style of them down below if you guys are curious and you guys want a pair. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.